Hello everyone, Foxy here, and welcome back to episode number 13 of Skyrim. We left off, Nazarene here, despite warming his hands, not quite next to the fire, but pretty close, was making his way through the Forsaken Cave to uncover and retrieve Shaldor's writings for the College of Winterhold. He had quite the journey here, and his journey is far from complete. Who knows what mayhem he'll find on his way back home. But let's get right into it. Oh, I feel better. A bit hungry though, perhaps. A quick snack before I go further. Salmon. Excellent. And a drink perhaps for my water as well. Time to go. I know you're out there. I've seen this path before in other crypts, and I know enemies are like lurking just around that corner. But I'm a sucker for good loot. Excellent. More gold, more riches, more wealth. There you are. Oh, I miss. I think this is a weak dragger though. One fireball should do it. Yep. No match for Nazarene. What use do Draugr have for gold? I'm assuming their past lives carried such septums, but seems rather silly. Someone's gonna pop out of this, I have a feeling. Mm, maybe that one as well. This one, this driver is deceased. I'm skeptical. I've been in too many of these crypts to know that anything can happen at any time. Usually I've had people to watch my back, but now I'm alone. At least I have a companion outside. A loyal steed, which I intend to do right by. Sirve knows I haven't done right by most of my companions. I don't like this. Don't like this at all. There you are. Oh, he's a strong one. bad. Ugh. Quickly. Healing. Oh, God, I'm just barely. I wasn't properly prepared. Oh. Clearly, I still have much to learn about combat readiness. I saw that Draugr. The damage it was able to take. I just didn't. The knowledge that I needed, that I know I have, it just escaped me. I must be able to perform under pressure. Or else I'll find myself succumbing to one of those draugers soon. It's a bit dark. Perhaps some light will help make this journey a little bit better. A little bit safer. That was unnecessary. But quite cool nonetheless. That's what I intended to do against that dragon. But alas, I was a dunce. I know there's more around here though. I'll get a chance to redeem myself. More 
gold, more potions. Stuff I can like to. There you are, yep. Hello. Another strong one. Maybe I can resurrect him as a companion here. Or no, perhaps not. I didn't have the life spell equipped. Confusing my spells. I thought my ward was life. I gotta get in to the game. I need to focus up. Complacency is death. And I am not complacent. Who's there? There you go. Multiple. Fight for me. Or maybe not. I guess you're already undead. Can I resurrect you? Yes, I can. Excellent, I thought so. You don't need gold, I'll just take that from you. Let's see if I can find what's beyond this door. I'm no locksmith. I'm demonstrating that. Come on, please. There we go. Come on, a little. Ah. This way, and then a little more. Nope, a little upwards. Yep, got it. What is that? Chest. But, okay, no trap. Excellent. And a lockpick to replace the five I broke and a few septums. Sir, oh, you are quite intimidating. Move it. Okay. Teach me to waste my lock picks on some door. I'll probably waste them again though. Come on, you found companion. We got a ways to go. Is anyone around there? No? Okay. Be careful of traps. Fight for me. Oh, you are not even nearby. Got me there. Weren't quite quick enough. First complacency. And now showing off. Come on, Nazarene, focus up. Syrabane would look down on you in ire. Oh, no. ah. Okay. Whew. Popping out. Left and right. Gotta check each of my corners. Okay. Safe to loot. I hear one. I 
don't like this. Okay. He's a strong one. He's got shouting. What is that? I'm hurt bad. Lay some traps down. Sarah Ben, protect me. Got him. Power. I feel it overwhelming me. I really am becoming something. Something to be proud of. If I can just move past my ignorance and my, my standoffishness and, and all the bad qualities I possess and just focus on my craft. I can conquer foes, the likes of which even the most seasoned warriors would tremble for. I can do this. Cural Mill, fabled warrior, you are no match and I will take your prized weapon as trophy. But first, I must sort through my loot. Hmm. What can I get rid of here? A few ingots. Unnecessary items, only for will. What do we have here? Shallow doors insights. Excellent. And a circlet of minor magicka. If I can wear this under my cowl. I'll be quite good. But I'm feeling encumbered. Hmm. Perhaps I'll leave this trophy behind. It's of little value. And I have no intention of wielding a battle axe anytime soon. That looks a bit of like a trap. I don't see any value of going beyond that uh, barrier there. What's here? Hmm, the way out. I saw something down here. Anyone goes there? Oh, the lighting just changed significantly. Oh. Hmm. Must be seeing things. Still kind of weary or tired, perhaps. I really ought to make it home. is waiting for me. That fire won't last much longer. Oh, it's, it's so cold here. Whew, warm by this fire before I go. Alright. Oh, yeah. Secret entrance. Right back where I was. Why is this one not empty? Mm, some septums that I missed. Time for me to get out of here. Did good. Did real good. Hmm. Where to next? Felgo Keep. Maybe I can make a stop in Whiterun. Maybe there's a little sanctuary along the road here. We'll try to make it there. Me and my 
faithful companion. Oh, I'm shocked that I was able to handle that foe so well. I've really come a long way. Come on, Alderuna. Let's get going. We don't want to be out in this cold for too long. Sorry I left you out here, boy. Perhaps I can seek shelter there. What do we have here? Night gate in. Exactly what I could use. Hope they allow for weary travelers to rest. Alright, boy. You stay here for a little bit. I'll be right back. And it seems abandoned, but... I hope they'll have me. I hope someone's here to have me, at least. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, warm beds. Sounds like exactly what I need. How you doing? Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging? Lodging. And food, I suppose, too. But first, water. Can I get a refill? Of course. Thank you. I have some goods for sale. Uh, would you be care would you care to look at them? Take a look. I see you're not really interested in what I have. That's okay. I'd love some, uh, something, something hardy. Perhaps a, a brook brass, brook bass, rather. Thank you. What can you tell me about this inn? It's kind of in the middle of uh, nowhere in between settlements. This old place? Huh. Been here forever. Built by my great granda. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. Must be proud to maintain such a nice establishment. Keeping in the family. But I'm not seeing a lot of other people. Do you do you get a lot of business? Nah, not so much. The odd traveler on the road. But mostly just old full time. Full time? Time to drink away a lifetime of bad memories, I'd wager. Of course, there's the orc. An orc, too. Long-term tenant, that one. For what he pays, I could afford to shut this place down. Really? Tell me about that orc. Him? Oh, uh... Uh... Name's... Uh, Malablob. Or, uh... Malaklob. Uh, one of them really? funny orc names. Talks Isn't real there... good, though. Not a savage at all. Hmm. Said he's a writer. Don't know what kind of job that is. Some but Deidre must earn him some pretty Mal coin. Mal He's paid up for the next few months. He mostly just hangs about. Goes down to the lake. Sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. See. Man can do whatever he pleases, as far as I care. I'll have to meet this man. Well, thank you for your time. I'll probably run to room in a bit, but I'd like to talk to these customers that you have. Thanks again. Anything you need. Just holler. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, well. I think I'll, uh... Oh, you're awake. Hey, food time. You lost? Do you come here a lot? Well, I know you do come here a lot. You see any other inns around here? Where else would I go to drink? Yeah, fair enough. What do you know about the orc? Well, he doesn't like company, I can tell you that much. Just wants to be left alone, but... Oh, no, that... That's not really it. It's like he wants that? to talk. He likes people and all, but... He stays separate... Because he's supposed to. Supposed to? It's kind of sad, really. What are you... Supposed to? All right. I think I need to meet this man. He's supposed to say separate? What does that mean? Are you in the incel? Hmm. 
That bass sounds real good right about now, though. Mm, excellent. Hello there? You down here, good sir? Hi, hi. Balagog. I've heard about you. How are you? What now? Just wanted to visit and see how you're doing. I trust you're not planning any trouble. No, no, not at all. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Ah, okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Well, uh... You mind if I read this? Hmm. Sounds like you may be up to some mischievous things, but it's really not my business. If you want to talk, I'll be upstairs. I'm an interesting way out. Sure, I'm curious. Ah, yes. Okay. Maybe I can do a little fishing. Or no, I left my fishing rod back home. <laughs> Blasted. That's alright. Should take a drink. Feeling a bit dehydrated. Mm. One more. Alright. A little midday nap is in order. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere? Or maybe not. Yeah, a midday nap, I believe, is indeed in order. Could make it to Winterhold, or rather Whiterun. Need a room? Or maybe just some meat? Yes, please, a room. Sure thing. It's yours yeah, for Whiterun, a day. Yeah, Whiterun, but... I'll show you to then your I'd room. I'd have to go all right the way out of the way, way, and I'd not even stop at the castle I need to go to. It doesn't seem worth my time. Thank you very much. Let me know if there's anything else you need. We'll do, Hadring. Appreciate it. Just gonna take a brief nap here. Oh. The guide to White Run. Numerous diversions from adventure, fortune, and companionship. I don't want a diversion from that. I want to find it. Yep, central location, Skyrim. A Red Guard beauty there. And Sadia, hmm. Might have to pay her a visit. Modest marketplace. General goods store. Hmm, I'll hold on to this. Maybe I will stop by. Hmm, the Wind, uh, Windhelm as well. It's very close to me. I'll take this too if you don't mind. Thank you. All right, a couple hours, that's all I should need. Oh, Cerebane, thank you for the gifts you are bestowing upon me. I feel my vigor increasing with my faith to you. I've demonstrated true power in my ability with damage, with Destruction magic. What other power can you grant me here? Hmm. Scarring burns? Yes. I believe so. All right. Thank you for your patronage. Or rather, thank you for your hospitality. I'm not the owner. You are. Appreciate it once again. Alright. Come on, Alderuna. A little ways to go. What's that up there? The Dwemer origin. It's none of my business. Staying out here in the cold. That's not much of a travel, though. 
Oh, curiosity killed the cat, but it won't kill me. Can always stop back at Nightingale and uh, Nightingale Inn. I feel the cold overwhelming me. Interesting. Any way to get inside? No. This isn't the way in. I wonder where it is, though. Nowhere that I can tell how to run. Let's just get going. Stick to our mission at hand. If I stay on the road, I should get in there. Arrive at Fell Glow Keep in no time at all. Who knows what I'll find on this road, though. What's this? Oh, you are not friendly, are you? Defending your own? Is that true? Hello, are you, are you hostile, friendly? Okay, alright. I can respect that. Hey, how you doing? Don't go over there. You're hostile. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Understood. What was that? I saw out of the corner of my eye. Oh, just a moose. Whew. I want no trouble. I found enough of it in my lifetime. Guards. Imperials. There are a few bandits just up ahead. Maybe you should be the ones to clear them out. Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got I'll what keep it, takes, it in mind. Thank you. Solid. Take care of those bandits if you can. Starting to get. Oh, what is that? No traveler should have to deal with this. Strong though. Alderuna. Stay strong, Alderuna. Okay. You right? You right, bud? You're okay. Let's keep moving. Is that a giant snake? Mammoths? So, that is none of my business. I want no quarrel with you, mammoths and giants. None whatsoever. Oh, hello. A wolf? Come here, boy. The last time you'll affect and hurt any traveler on this road. Pelt as my trophy. All right, Alderuna, let's go. White runs just up ahead, but... That's all right. Hello? How are you doing? You were dressed rather oddly. Stuck here. Stuck! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Poor mother. Too still. Your mother's in there? What exactly is the problem? Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, oh. not her. Her corpse. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's quite dead. I'm taking Mother to a new home, a new crypt, but yeah. ah, wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel! Don't you 
Yeah, I can, I can see something's wrong with the wagon. Can I help in any way? Oh, yeah, a little jig. Yeah, I'm happy to help. Woohoo. Yeah, woohoo. The Lorius farm. Just over there, off the road. Talk to He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. Why won't he help me? He you? refuses. Uh, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that. And okay. Cicero will reward you. Coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Sounds fair to me. Yeah. Convince Loris to fix the wheel? Where is Loris? Where is this farm that you speak of? Oh, just over there. Oh, literally right there. Excellent. I'm a blind man, apparently. Okay. And the things you run into here, huh? A little shelter from the rain, too. Couldn't hurt. Alright. I trust you're not planning any trouble. No, not at all. What can I do for you, friend? Wanted to speak with Loris. There you are. You mind if I sit? Hmm. Yeah, I understand. Uh, you don't know me, and I don't know you. Well, I Sorry. Just tired. Make room oh, for the love of Mara, what now? Uh... That man out there, Cicero, he needs help. Why, why are you refusing? That Cicero fella? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? I don't understand. Yeah, what's the problem? We'll pay you. I don't, I don't get it. Pay me? You think this is about money? What is it? Seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? So what? He's been a merry man in these Why does his occupation matter? And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin. And he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Get the casket. There. Makes War sense. contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. He's a stranger who needs assistance, though. Like, why not do the right thing? What? And just who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. Just give him your For tools. For what? Help a, a, a fool? You know you should help him. Come on. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Feller might be nutters. Might not. But fact is, he needs help. Exactly. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I? Huh? Exactly. Look, um... Thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Will do. Thank you for your understanding. I appreciate it. You know, maybe it isn't... His mother in there, but... So what? He's a man in need. He's desperate. He's not harming you. He's not harming anyone. And a jester is a profession which meant to bring laughs and, and joy to everyone in Skyrim. Not one of any ill will. So, I appreciate your understanding. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Alright. Cicero, I have good news. Poor mother! Her little home seems so very far. You agreed to fix your wagon wheel. Don't worry. You, you do? He has? He has, yeah. Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so Jubilant and oh, I'm ecstatic. glad to hear that. More, Pass that joy more. on to others. My mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles. Shiny, gold. A few coins for your kind deed. And thank you. Thank you again. You're welcome. Best to you. Good luck. Thank you for the reward. <sighs> Maybe Lorius will let me lodge for just a little while. While I wait this rain out. At least it's not snow. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Nothing at all. Do you mind I if I just friend? stay Need here something? for a bit? 
It's fine. Yes? I'll take that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Just sit here. I had for a, a look moment. at that boneyard the other day, Vantis. The one to the north. Actually, I'm gonna warm by the fire. I told you I don't like you going there. I'm pray I've for a little while too. At the mammoths. Appreciate your hospitality again. <sighs> I'm actually eat some food. All right. As Nazarene warms up by the fire, eats some food, relaxes from a long day, he looks back on today's events and, and recognizes that while, you know, he can be a bit arrogant, complacent, and a bit of a showboat, he does have true potential to be a mage of great power, of great notice and respect. And he demonstrated that the conquering of one of his most tough adversaries yet. And in addition, he's showing that he's made some serious development as a person, helping out Cicero, who unbeknownst to him is a member of the Dark Brotherhood, but that is neither here nor there. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.